all right ladies and gentlemen welcome back in this video we're gonna go through a uh, gas phase reaction in a tubular reactor so let's um i suggest you guys pause the video for a second and give it a read one two three all right i'm hoping you guys have resumed and hopefully given it a read a thorough read so now because now i'm gonna read it with you guys an elementary reaction okay an elementary elementary that's a keyword in reaction engineering okay an elementary gas phase reaction okay gas phase keep that in mind we're no longer dealing with liquid phase reactions needs to be carried out in a plug flow reactor okay i know what 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 type of ideal reactor i'll be sizing and i've been given my design equation and uh, just to just for the sake of completion gas phase gas phase oops sorry yeah, gas phase. Sorry about that. All right. The feed may be assumed to contain pure A. Good. Pure feed. Nice. I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to use that. The operation may be assumed isothermal. Good. You may neglect pressure drop. Wow. Okay. Very generous. Develop the equations in terms of conversion of A. And the following are my process info. Inlet flow rate V0, inlet pressure P0, and inlet temperature T. Mm, uh, yeah, T. I'm just going to call it T. Okay, because uh, the inlet and outlet pressure are the same. Inlet and outlet temperature are the same. Okay, so let's start off like a good engineer. State our assumptions. Steady state. Okay, good. We're going to... Steady state Steady state is important for designing steady, designing continuous processes. Otherwise, we, we can't really... Um, yeah, we won't really do... We won't really know what to do, right? Isothermal, okay. No change in temperature, good. Isobaric, no change in pressure, good. Ideal gas, okay. We're gonna challenge, like, uh, keep that in mind. Uh, we're all ideal gas law assumes, assumes low pressure, okay. We're assuming low pressure. We're gonna solve this problem analytically, so we're just gonna be using ideal gas law. But if, if you wanna be more, if you wanna be more accurate, then you might have to use an a different equation of state, and you might have to solve this equation using uh solve this equation computationally. All right, and yeah, pure inlet concentration. Good. All right. So just for just for the aesthetic, I'm just gonna draw it right here. I'm just gonna draw a tubular reactor just for the uh, aesthetics. Okay, just for the aesthetics, good. So in goes my pure A. Okay, and out comes, I'm just gonna label this, 2A goes to B. All right, and out comes some A and some B. Okay, no no inerts, we're not, we're assuming pure inlet, good. All right, so conditions. Inlet, flow rate V0, exit flow rate V. V0, inlet temperature and pressure, outlet pressure and outlet so it's isobaric no pressure drop and no term thermal change uh but we've not been given um we've not been we're not we've not been given concentrations but uh can we work with what we have so let's see so let's uh move on to our design equation the design equation for a pfr okay we're gonna need the design equation for a pfr and that's gonna be v the volume of PFR is going to be equal to the negative integral inlet conditions divided by the rate expression. This obviously goes from 0 to x, the desired conversion, times the uh, integrated with respect to con uh, conversion. Okay, um, this is going to be my equation number 1. Let's see. Uh, this is what I'm looking for. Good. Uh, FA0. FA0 can be written as... F A naught can be written as inlet flow rate times C A naught. I've been given inlet flow rate, but I don't really know C A naught. But hey, this is where I use ideal gas law. If I use ideal gas law, let me just show you guys what I mean. P V equals N R T. I rearrange this. Uh, P over R T. This just becomes equal to the concentration. Okay, this just becomes equal to concentration. So for the inlet conditions, I'm just gonna erase that. I hope, I hope uh, my point is clear. F A naught is gonna become V naught times the inlet pressure divided by the ideal gas constant times the uh, temperature. So this right here is my second equation. 
and also my rate expression my rate expression my rate expression is going to be negative case c a squared keep in mind it's an elementary rate law okay we have an elementary reaction that's important elementary rate law for elementary reactions okay good this is going to be my equation three so let's uh, combine two three with one all right let's zoom out a bit so we can see all of my equations all right good now at this point i'm gonna combine we're gonna combine two three with one good and that's gonna give us let's see what's that gonna give us that's gonna give us the volume of my bfr is equal to negative make sure i don't uh, i don't make any algebraic mistake hopefully v naught times pressure divided by rt multiplied by one over i'm just expanding this out negative k ca to the power two negatives drop out okay negative divided by negative that that's taken care of and notice how notice how This expression right here can, is constant. All right, um, yeah. Inlet flow rate is not inlet flow rate is not changing. Pressure is inlet pressure is not changing. Sorry, this is inlet pressure, and we're assuming isothermal, so temperature is not changing. And K is a function of temperature. K, the reaction constant, is a function of temperature. And since temperature is not changing, K is not changing. So you just pull that boy out. Pull that boy out, and we get okay and let's see k times rt okay negatives cancel out and right now i have one over so this is what i'm trying to integrate zero to x so right now all right let's see um this is where i am right now this is where i am in life right now so right now uh, i'm evaluating this integral with respect to the conversion so it would be nice if i had some sort of functionality of uh, if there if I could express concentration as a function of conversion good uh, But this time let's see what we can do. We do know that we're in gas phase. So we're going to use gas phase stoichiometry Okay So now we're going to move on to use some stoichiometry con exit concentration of a Is going to be equal to the inlet moles of a times what has what's left of it all right one minus x is the leftover divided by the inlet volume and the inlet the effect of reaction the effect of the uh, the, the uh, effect of the progress of the reaction on the volume okay just to give you guys just to give you guys a uh, refresher 2a in gas phase is reacting with is reacting together to form b a dimerization reaction okay a dimerization reaction so as as one mole of uh, if two moles of a are being consumed then only one mole of b is being generated so there is a yeah, there's a net consumption there is a net consumption of total moles net consumption of total moles okay net consumption of total moles and since we're in gas phase the change in total moles is gonna the change in total moles is gonna affect your volumetric flow rate okay so okay we can this right here just becomes ca okay sorry inlet moles of a divided by inlet con uh, volumetric flow rate just becomes inlet concentration okay we know that and our design conversion desired conversion is just our uh, independent variable we um, will be okay with that but let's see um okay i don't have epsilon how do i uh, but uh, if i refer to chapter four okay gas phase stoichiometry and if i refer to chapter four fifth edition of fogler dr fogler okay good guy what a great guy he says that epsilon is just going to be equal to the inlet mole fraction this is the inlet mole fraction of a times the uh, another parameter delta this right here is going to be my fourth equation i believe okay 
I have a pure feed. I have a pure feed. So I know my inlet. I know my inlet mole fraction. This is just equal to one. But what about, all right, what about delta? Now delta is just, delta is gonna be, in order to calculate delta, you have to refer back to the uh, reaction. You have to refer back to the reaction that's happening. So let's uh, bring it, let's uh, copy that. Oh, sorry. Copy that, bring it down here. And I'm just gonna tabulate, tabulate it to show you guys what I'm talking about. Oops. So, okay, what is delta? Hold on, give me one second. All right. What is delta? Delta, what is delta? So, so um, per basis of A, we have to write this per basis of A, obviously. So, 2 divided by 2, this becomes 1 over 2, okay? So, as 1 mole of A reacts in gas phase, a half, half moles of B are generated. So, 1 mole of A are consumed to give half moles of B, good. So delta, um, delta is just going to be equal to, hold on, sorry, my bad. I'm just uh, referring to my notes for a second. Delta is just going to be equal to negative one. That's the uh, total reactants, total moles of reactants consumed per mole of A plus one over two. That is going to be the total moles of reaction, total moles of products generated. So this is the overall change. This right here is the overall change. Okay, equation five, but what, what does that capture? What does that capture? Change in total moles, all right? This captures the change in total moles. Change in total moles per consumption, per consumption of one mole of A, good. So now let's combine, all right? We're, we're, we're making progress. Now we're just gonna combine. Now we're gonna combine um the design equation which is equation one. Oh sorry the design equation combine one with my these new relationships four and five oh sorry not relationships um equations my bad sorry okay um the volume of the BFR now is just gonna be my parameters inlet volumetric flow rate let's go back a little Let's zoom out a little so we can see what's going on there. Okay, V0, P0 divided by RT. Goes from 0 to X. 1 over CA squared DX, right? That's what we're talking about. Scroll down. All right. Um, right. I'm just going to, sorry. I know my CA is just going to be... Let's uh, do that step by step. And let's switch to different colors. Yeah, you have to be very careful. You can't just uh, fool around when solving this problem because um, uh, if you're like me, you're very error prone, okay? All right, let's see. Um, CA naught, good. CA naught times one minus X divided by one plus epsilon I'm combining four and five. I'm combining four and five, so that's just gonna be one minus one over two x. Sorry about that. Hey, sorry about that. Different colors. One minus one over two x. Good. And all of this squared. So, all right, just to even simplify it even further. Let's simplify it even further. Volume of PFR is gonna be V naught, P naught R T. Now you can even fact you're now you're gonna be able to pull this out. C A naught squared. Don't forget the squared. Integrated from zero to x. All right. Now you get one minus one over two times the conversion squared over one minus x also squared. So this right here is the integral. We have developed our equation. This right here is our final equation.
okay and now uh, i'm sure you guys are wondering that's a nasty looking integral right there that's a nasty looking integral we got so well i mean if it is a nasty looking integral i'm not expecting you to solve this analytically you can solve this numerically you can use a um, matlab you can use um some variation of trapezoid rule simpson's rule whichever one you fancy okay and these on the uh, outside the integral are my sorry i'm gonna use different i'm gonna use different color of course these are the parameters okay so let's see what parameters we have inlet volumetric flow rate inlet pressure ideal gas constant inlet temperature this is the inlet temperature keep in mind this is the inlet temperature and the inlet concentration squared so i have my parameters good everything's good all right guys so yeah um thanks for sticking thanks for um sticking till the end and i hope this video was helpful all right thank you so much